Science's breakthrough of the year for 2012 is the discovery of a subatomic particle called the Higgs boson, which grabbed headlines all over the world this July. Choosing this as the breakthrough of the year was easy. Explaining it is a little more challenging. Let's just say rarely have so many been so excited about something quite so esoteric. Let's begin with a little refresher on particle physics. All the matter around us consists of quantum particles. Atoms consist of particles called electrons, which whiz around the nucleus. The nucleus consists of protons and neutrons, and the protons and neutrons themselves consist of quantum particles called quarks. In the 1960s and the 1970s, physicists developed a theory called the Standard Model that describes all these particles in heavier versions of them that can be created in uh, collisions at atom smashers. But there was one problem. According to the Standard Model, all particles had to be massless. That's because if you assigned mass to the particles, the theory would go mathematically haywire. So somehow, mass has to come from the interaction of otherwise massless particles themselves. And that's where the Higgs comes in. In 1964, Peter Higgs and several other theorists realized that if space is threaded with a field, a bit like an electric field, then particles can interact with it to gain energy. And thanks to Einstein's equation, E equals mc squared, that will give them mass. This so-called Higgs mechanism is now physicists' explanation of how all fundamental particles get their mass. Just as an electric field consists of quantum particles called photons, this new Higgs field in the vacuum should consist of quantum particles called Higgs bosons. To see one directly, you have to blast it out of the vacuum in a violent particle collision. And that's what physicists seem to have done. Earlier this year, physicists working with the world's biggest atom smasher, the 27-kilometer-long Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland, reported that they had seen a particle that looks every bit like the Higgs boson. The discovery of the Higgs boson, if that's what this new particle really is, fulfills a decades-old prediction, and it completes the standard model in that no other particles are needed to make the theory internally consistent. But it raises a big question. Will physicists ever score another discovery like this one? They know that the standard model can't be the final word in fundamental physics. It doesn't even incorporate the force of gravity. But with the Higgs in the bag, they don't have a clear prediction of what to look for next. 